floating back to Earth, the first ever pieces of the moon's unexplored far side. As they thumped down on the Mongolian steppe, China not only achieved a scientific first, but confirmed its position as a space superpower, a point reinforced by the planting of a flag next to the smouldering capsule. Chang'e 6 was China's fourth consecutive uncrewed landing on the moon. The three-ton probe, complete with roving camera platform, landed in a deep crater near the lunar south pole. Using a scoop and drill, it gathered lunar soil and rocks never before studied by human hands. Scientists visibly excited by what they might teach us. This is fantastic. It's one of the, those dreams that you have as a kid, the far side of the moon that triggers a lot of imagination. Now, humanity will have the chance to see whether there is actually anything different on the other side with respect to, we know, of the composition of the moon soil. Chang'e 6 was the most technically advanced of China's moon missions yet. Direct communication with the moon's far side is limited. Many of its key tasks were completed autonomously. Not just landing, but boosting its samples back into orbit before the ascender docked with a return vehicle, transferring the samples for their 230,000-mile journey back to Earth. China has plans for a robotic lunar base in partnership with Russia and others. The Artemis generation... A direct competitor to NASA's plans with its Artemis moon program, supported by its allies. And having brought back rocks, it's not a giant leap logistically to take humans, Taikonauts, to the moon. A new space race is afoot. Tom Clark, Sky News.